ready for inspection, sir. Right, well then, pull up those socks, girl. That's it. Smart as a pin. You're the best dressed on parade, soldier. Mind you, that's your composition. Hey, that's my best suit. Yeah, which could do with a dry clean. I need to impress. Might have a new job. No way. Come on, spill. Details. Ah, we'll see. But good things are happening. <laughs> Shall we? That's it, soldier. I saw you come in. How's it, Liza? Yeah. No more seizures overnight, so she'll be home today. Fingers crossed. I'm just taking her a change of clothes. So it's good news. <laughs> she had a seizure after she was born. And I've been hoping, praying that she didn't have another one. But it's not epilepsy. If it is, it could be a sign. Epilepsy is really common in children with cerebral palsy. Oh, come here. One thing at a time. I mean, it could just be another one-off seizure. Let's wait for the doctors to say what's happening. Oh, they never do. From day one, it's always been, we don't know, she might have cerebral palsy, she might not. Just give her another few months and we'll see how she goes. Never anything other than wait. Hello? Yeah? OK. You come in. It's Eliza. She's had another seizure. Where's my keys? They're here. I'll drive you. OK. You hang on to that handbag, Mrs Fletcher. Can't be too careful, can we? Was that a dig? Yeah, actually it was, yeah. Cos, for the record, I think this is a bad idea. No, well, I recognise that look from home. You two made Barney. What's happened? Right, that's the storeroom done. Where next? You working here? And cleaning in my best suit? Well, the gentleman's always got to look his best. Yeah, well, the gentleman can take that jacket off. That's my wedding and funeral suit. Please, don't attend either of them. Not in this fabric. I won't allow it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, I'm sorry. I just uh, really want to impress. I'm very grateful for this trial. Most people wouldn't have given me the chance, what with living on the streets, criminal record. Hardly a great CV, is it? <sighs> right. Epilepsy. You sure? The second seizure, the EG and the scan, it all confirms it. We've started her on a preventative medication that she can take daily. And that cures her? It's trial and error, really. She may reach a point where she doesn't need to take it in the future. Might not have another seizure for years. It's hard to say. Right. Well, that could be worse. At least she's OK. It says in her notes that she had a difficult birth. Uh, yeah, she got her shoulder stuck, so uh, she was deprived of oxygen. And she's not walking yet. She was a premature baby. I... Uh, why are you asking? Is there something else? Have you seen something? I can request an appointment with your regular paediatrician and physio for you. Oh, you could tell us now. I know what epilepsy could mean. Megan. No, the tests that they're doing, the questions he's asking. Why won't anyone officially tell us? It's cerebral palsy, isn't it? They always said that she might have it, and she does, doesn't she? Please, just tell me. I'm sorry. Everything is pointing to that, yes. The partnership is limited... Oh, God, um, limited to providing capital for the business. Okay. Come on, girl. You've seen Dragon's Den. Hilary DeVay does not do nerves. Oh, hey! Come in. Or should I say, come out? <laughs> Tini. Oh, ignore her. Look, I've, I've been calling you. Is everything all right? I need to be somewhere. Lovely to meet you properly. I've just got one or two questions to ask you before Rebecca gets here. I, uh, I hope that's okay. He deliberately stole from a neighbour. Now, folk remember that sort of thing. I'm just saying, what if they won't forgive? Yeah, but that was years ago and he's perfect. The place has never been so clean. And he spotted the buns were mouldy. 
Or you want to take them back to the cash and carry? I want a refund. Yeah, I will in a bit. You know, Sheila with the squint does the tills at lunchtime. I never know if she's winking at me. Fine, OK, Daz gets a chance. But if one person objects to him being here... Is it me? Or are the policemen getting younger every year? Oh, have they been asking you about Emma too? Oh, they never ask me. But I did a whole Columbo box set this weekend, just in case they needed some advice. He was right. Trust no one. Uh, Daz is working with us. Do you two know each other? Ah, uh, well... Oh, well, um... On second thoughts, I think I'll nip down to David's for a coffee. You... You know that place, don't you? Yeah, I do. And I do know where I went wrong years ago. I've regretted it ever since. Please. You are a valued customer. Why don't you take a seat and I'll get this on the house. Please. Right. It's called bilateral spastic diplegia. It's one of the milder forms of cerebral palsy. She came here because she was up in a seizure. Everyone else, the experts, they said we had to wait. They said that she'd be at least two before they could say. What I've seen today, they're all indicators. I know, I'm sorry, even after months of warning, getting that final diagnosis is hard. How's she going to be, mentally? She's smiling and interacting well. It's hard to say at this stage, but it looks like it will mainly affect her legs. The condition means muscle movement is stiff and uncoordinated. Will she be able to walk? Stop! Forcing him into answers. Guess him. I need to know if my daughter is going to spend her life in a wheelchair. We can't say she will walk, but it will be our main aim to get her to walk. It's such an umbrella term, cerebral palsy. It's hard to predict, hard to give answers. So you don't know anything, then? Every child is different. Everyone reacts differently. See? He doesn't know. No one does, because she's only 18 months old. Listen to him. No! I won't be part of this. Jay. No, we go back to the experts, we wait. Like we said we would. He's scared. We both are. I always knew we'd be told this. They said to have hope, but I knew. This early diagnosis is good. It could make a real difference to Eliza. There are plenty of people out there. Brilliant physios, specialists, parents going through the same thing. We'll put you in touch with them, get you help. You're not on your own. This is not the end. It's where we start. As I said, I have 15 years' experience. Why us? I think we can grow together, like I've just outlined, and that's why I reached out. Kath! Hi. We were just going through the deal, which is fine. That's good to hear. Well, thank you for your time. Shall we sign? Um, Robert Sugden. How do you know him? Robert Sugden. I know Robert Sugden. He's about yay high. He ruined her life to run off with my cousin and then dumps my cousin to get this lady knocked up. I mean, you're gonna need a Venn diagram for that. Shut up, Charity. They met at that meeting with Dad, you know that. Mm. Are you conning us? Is this always how you treat investors? I'm out. No, Kath, please. I'm not giving her another freebie. I can't afford this. Well, no, no, it's coming out of my wages. I've been leaving a note behind the till. Oh. <laughs> Watch her. Well, that sweet little old lady. A word to the wise. Pearl is not a sweet little old lady. She's a trained assassin in gossip and cake. Any training you've had at the army, <laughs> she'll beat it. No, oh, I think not. I was actually trained in interrogation. Here we 
anything else? Oh, thank you. A, a, a bit of whipped cream would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, uh, are you staying at your brother's now? Is that permanent? Oh, no, I doubt it. It's a bit cramped and I'm sure they'd like their own space. <laughs> I know I'd like my own space from what they get up to at night. Uh, but, uh, well, come and sit down and tell me all about it. I, I had to walk out. There were too many questions, like the, the pregnant Abba rejects are easy, but the other one... Back in there and you do what I said. I'm paying you, aren't I? I can't do this. I can't keep lying. About what? Hey, I thought I should stop avoiding you. Man up, or maybe not. I'm, I'm sorry if I insulted you yesterday. Ah, I overreacted. My head was all over the place. I couldn't be more proud of you, Teeny. Do I tell you often enough? And just for the record, just in case it needs saying out loud, I want you to be happy, and, and that's all. And anyone that you fall in love with, as long as they make you feel that way, make you feel loved, they're OK by me. Wow. Bang goes my big coming-out speech. <laughs> what, you had one? No. Because, what? Well, I don't know if that's what this is. Coming out. I, I don't know what I am or, or what I feel, if, if that makes sense. Do you like it? Charity? Does anyone? <laughs> but, um, well, she's not the first. I've kissed a girl before. And? To quote a bad song lyric, I liked it. But I convinced myself that it was... I don't know, maybe just love for a friend, but... Well, if it turns out to be love for women, well, why the heck not? Look, maybe just take your time. Work it out if there's something that needs working out, but please, don't ever think that I'm not on your side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but let's just have a deal. <clears throat> Both of us uh, staying away from certain blonde barmaids. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Thank you. No, thank you for talking. Oh, and chin up. <laughs> Megan! Jay told me the good news. All clear on this little beauty. If you just let me explain. I just heard her outside on the phone saying she couldn't lie anymore. I told you it was a private call. You should be grateful for my investment. Criminal records, village feuds, and a kid way too handy with a shotgun for comfort. And a sex pest. Oh, shut up, Charity. And yet you seem desperate to sign with us, so what's your game? Tax avoidance. I either chance my money through someone like you or I hand it to the suits at HMRC. Hey, if you're looking to hand over thousands of pounds... Shut up, Charity. Because against all odds, I actually still want it to be these two. Because although you grill me, spy on me, drag me in here for questioning, I actually like you both. How you have each other's backs. Look, I'm sorry that I walked out. I felt under siege, but... One last chance. Do we have a deal? How about we delay everything until tomorrow? Probably best if we all calm down. Ever since I said she might be at risk, I've been searching online. You read about parents, and some of them, they're like warriors. Like, fighting every day for, for treatments, for answers, any chance. I don't know if I'm that strong. Of course you are. I should have insisted that they told me sooner. I'm a mum. I should be there to protect her. Yeah, but you knew they couldn't give you an answer. Look, you, you've done everything you can. Look, you're, you're amazing. Mwah. What was that? I tell you my daughter's disabled and you think I'm chatting you up? You try and kiss me? No, oh, I, I was just... I was just trying to show you that I'm, I'm supporting you. You need help. What I need? I just came in here to buy my daughter some food. Megan, please, look, let's, let's just talk. I haven't got time to talk. My life's about Eliza now. Every ounce of strength I've got, she gets. And we don't need your pity. 
role-play every night. Mm -hmm. Does a gleaming Prince Harry. <laughs> Although, the bit where he gets into his tank... It... I can't believe you managed to get this out of me. <laughs> you kill me. <laughs> Kerry's a lucky girl. <laughs> I asked Bob to do Prince Charles once. He just waffled on about petunias. <laughs> <laughs> um, last night was Leonardo DiCaprio. I heard him through the walls asking her to draw him like one of those French girls. Uh, what? Uh, we're just um, having a quick tea break, checking in on our valued customer, who is very happy with the staff. Oh, look, it's the king of the world. Near, far, wherever you are. Uh, what have you been saying? Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, mate. It's just I might have let a little something slip. <laughs> really? Look, if you're not 100% happy, I understand. We can stop the trial. No hard feelings. Look, there are acts of wickedness, and there are good people who do bad things. We've all been there. Customer's always right. Welcome to the tea. Really? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Something's not right. Chrissy was weird, kept asking if you were involved with that, Kath. Where'd she get that from? And anyway, I thought you said you'd check this Kath woman out and she seemed fine. Yeah, but I don't trust her. She's lying about something. Take another look through it, put your mind at rest, but I think you'd be crazy not to take it. Hey, it's, it's up to you. Kath, you listen to me and you do not mess this up. Don't hold it against us. They could have recruited Pearl over at MI5. Oh, go on. Let's get another round. I've got a tab on. Just face up to her. Always fight for what you want. Oh, and uh, a cola for Amelia as well. With ice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what can I get you? g and LGBT? <laughs> <clears throat> to save you from gossiping, and for anyone she hasn't yet announced it to, I slept with Charity. Mum's a lesbian too. Good for her. But see, I don't know if I am one. Well, not yet. Because right now, I don't know if I'm gay, straight, bi, curious. I'm just having fun finding out. So, no labels, no gossip, and no laughing. OK, but we, uh weren't actually laughing at you. Really? It was me. My sex life. Hmm. <laughs> I kissed a girl once in 1964. Tasted of strawberries. <sighs> Wasn't my thing, but good for you, love. Charity? If your stirring extends to two decent G&Ts, we'll be over here. Yeah. There, you officially tagged in the cafe pages staff. Can all the public see that? Yeah, I want everyone to know that you got the job. You're brilliant, Uncle Daz. Thanks for coming over. I wish you'd have stayed, though. It gave me all the positives what we can do to give her the best chance. And we can start now, you know, doing daily physio. They told us to wait. It's a good thing that we know early. We have been sleepwalking through this, Jay, and it's time to wake up. We need to look at her, really look at her. She can't do it. She can't move her legs like everyone else. And she needs you to see that. She needs you to help her. I am helping. They said, wait. She's disabled, Jay. No. You don't say that word. People will see her as different. She's not. 
She needs us. She is 18 months old, and you forced this on her. Forced him to say that. So no more doctors, no more tests. You owe me. Full and final payment again. You getting deja vu? Because airport's that way. I've got nothing. Let me know the point when I should start to care. You made me do everything. Oh, yeah. The arson, the break-in, on top of the attempted murder. It's not great. The police had a little chat yet. I'm not a bad man. I only ever came here because I actually thought I could save Chrissy. Let her know she really was. You knew that, and you used it. You used my dead brother. As touching as this edition of Long Lost Families is, I... You're as sick as them. You were with Rebecca earlier. I bet she'd like to know what you did. Blackmail? Now? You really haven't got the hang of this whole not being a bad man thing. Look, I'm broke. You ruined me and I need money. I'll do anything. Is that what you want to hear? Good. You can do one last job for me, then. Well, if you've been affected by Megan and Jay's story, you can visit itv.com forward slash advice for support information. Stay with us. Our first visit of the night to Coronation Street is on the way next.